Hello, welcome to the Stephen Trice Podcast, Series 3, Episode 2. Hey. Wow. <laughs> this week I'm joined by Cameron Green. Hey. <laughs> no, transfer. <laughs> no, 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 that's no, good. I don't think that's new to us, though, is it? <laughs> it's literally what it. you've been doing for, you know, five years now. It'll be new to them. No. So, <laughs> they would have heard. What persona do you think you have on There's this someone put in the comments. <laughs> they won't like, be expending um, that. They put, I'm really enjoying like all the meta depictions of all the lads, you know, delving into the backstory. Great to see. I was like, yeah, I'm really glad you got to the nitty gritty of me in that last sketch. You got to see what I'm really about. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up here, I get told I look like a red boy. <laughs> what am I doing with my morning? <laughs> well, we didn't say red boy on camera, did we? Because that's offensive. Yeah. Um, Idiot. Boy that pays rent. Also joined by Max Smith. Hello there. And Tom Looney. Looney, 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 Looney. Yeah, he's mad him. Thanks. Fine. Wacky. I'm afraid. <laughs> Cameron, what have you been up to? Uh, not sleeping. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> this, this, this new Cameron Green yeah just fucking complains all the time and he defeated Cameron Green got the shirt delivered from yeah. uh, Jaina wow it's got uh, Gabriel Batistuta's name on the back great, great. striker cult hero of uh, Italian football yeah there you go I'm very happy with it and Lovely. it cost me 40 pound it came with another one but that's too small ah. either that's too small or I'm too big so make of that what you will <laughs> do you have any hope to fit into it I don't know, maybe as like a, a bralet. Maybe in my own time, you know what I mean? Hmm. Where it, it, it kind of fits like a sports bra. Right. How does your time differ to everyone else's time? Because my time's just for me, for every other time. As soon as that door opens, I'm public property. Which door? Yeah, well, the back one. <laughs> hey, you know what you're doing? Hey, trying to catch me out, catch myself. <laughs> well, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be catching, me. you'll be catching these hands, cheeky boy. <laughs> That's uh, Cameron Green there. He's not well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cameron, it's your birthday soon. Uh, Tell oh, me your plans. Yeah. Oh, the Prescott Pub Crawl. We go every year. It's twelve pubs or fourteen pubs if you can manage it from half one in the afternoon. So is, it, is it a twelve or fourteen option? No, you have to you have to have a pint in every pub where you don't get a right. certificate that has my face in it that says you completed the Prescott pub crawl. It's a it's a mark of honour. Really? Maybe, maybe shame. Depends on <laughs> depends on your standards. <laughs> depends on your boundaries. Yeah, nineteenth of more of a business yeah. card than a uh, certificate, mate. If I remember correctly. Yeah, but that shows that you get business done. You know, you show it to someone they're like this guy. You're mess saving around. on paper. That's what it shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my paper. It's my dad's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm saving the trees. <laughs> they, they look at that, they say he can drink, and he cares about the environment. <laughs> this is your inheritance, this ain't piece of paper. Yeah, as soon as you're dead, look in the back of my phone. <laughs> it's <laughs> yours now. And I turn up, give him a smack. Fuck it is. <laughs> Meet some Prescott's in 20 minutes. I'm lost here. You don't I'm get honest. these for free. I don't know what he's on about. I'm saying about the little certificates. Does it have your face on it? Yeah, it always does. Okay. Yeah. Often you'll get somewhere and people will be lagging behind and like you know they'll take age going to the bar or they'll be Trying they'll be escape. drinking still really slow pub so as Cameron finishes an anecdote <laughs> yeah, bingo, yeah. still in the first pub everyone's gone the only rule is no one's supping bow tail <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means well you've just been sat on waiting on me you've not asked any of these how they've been doing yet I've been but well, this is more interesting yeah, time. this is just a, yeah. for, for Tom I just have his name <laughs> what am I going to say is your arm still broken yeah man yeah well done Proud of you, man. Cheers, mate. Could you, could you not clap your arm? It goes into our shot. Sorry. Fucking hell. He's going to break us up. I'm seeing you. There you go. Well, uh, what have you been doing, Tom? Uh, been back to work, Stephen. Um, had Ryan Locke in the studio yesterday. Oh, getting wow. his headshots. Getting his headshots done. Yeah. yeah. Do they not do them at the police station anymore? <laughs> <laughs> That's good comedy. <laughs> 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 That's the loop this laughter. I like that. For a good minute. <laughs> I was ready to pack the cameras away. <laughs> Just about to stop this. <laughs> stop what you're doing. I'll tell you what. Get in here. Everybody, get in here. Watch this. Max, you've got some trainers. Yeah, boy. Good shot. No, no, no. You don't do trainers. Uh, no, do you know what? I thought, uh, you know, if you want to get uh, something done, do it yourself. Yeah. So I took 30 quid over to Sports Direct. Nice. I said, give me your bigger shoes. And then they did. Do they fit? 
Do you know what? I got a 12? I'm wow. size 10. I had to get a size 12 because my feet wouldn't fit in any other shoe. <laughs> so it sounds like you're a size 12. I don't think I am. I think my feet are just too wide and fat that it's just sort of grown. So they've grown into a size 12. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what what brand? Uh, oh, God. Caramore. 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 Uh, Caramore a... Max's feet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Carry around slice tap. of Caramore, please. 30 quid, you know, I can't, you know, can't complain. Spent more on a... Might need to replace them, though, in a few months. <laughs> if yeah. I use them. Yeah. It sounds like you just bought like a pair of flippers, the way you've described <laughs> the, sh- the shape of your feet. I'm, I'm still trying to get to grips with it. Just a big shoe. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. What colour? Blue. Oh. Blue. Oh. Bit out there for that me. Is about, is that oh. yeah. flash? Step on my blue suede shoes. Yeah. Are they suede? No. Oh. Mr. <laughs> Trust Caramore suede gym shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Sway- oh, my gym sweat shoes. would ruin them. <laughs> yeah. I don't have gym shoes, do I? Just do <laughs> boxing in your back garden and your Doc Martin. <laughs> I have done that before. Anyone want this? <laughs> <laughs> Next time he makes a silly joke. <laughs> has, has. <laughs> you don't even hit the bag, you just make the noise. How far I fall back from it. <laughs> just Got delicate knuckles, you see. Yeah, my dad sat behind me with 1960s Batman panels. How? Boom! It's too, it's too far, mate. You want to grow up? <laughs> I'm living the dream. Uh, I went to London the other day. <laughs> And rode in a Tesla. Wow. Oh. It was just an Uber, a normal Uber, and then it was a Tesla. Oh, wow. And uh, what's cool is they have this screen at the front, mm. and it, uh, it shows you the cameras of everything mm. around you. Then it also has a, a diagram. And if a cyclist came along the side of the car, you saw it on the uh, the screen. If there's people crossing the road, you saw it. It oh, wow. detects the green lights, what color the lights are, the speed of the road. <laughs> that cyclist shouldn't have been coming up by the side of the car. <clears throat> New laws now. They have to go right in the middle of a lane. But it got stolen the other night. Ah, oh, why didn't you tell us that? I just remember. Well, it, was qu- it was all quite rushed, wasn't it? It was quick, and I, I wasn't the fucking Tom Looney Boo Hoo hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like me. Second bike, mate. It's <laughs> second bike gone. I get that. Where, where from? Uh, the bike storage bit. <laughs> did you? Did you have it attached? I, I, this time, I thought I did. Uh, oh, but I, I don't Timness. know. Um, yeah. Sorry, uh, right one. down the lens, threaten them. Well, it fucking dickheads. Keep, keep the cast out of the... Sorry. Yeah, well, it's a little shit. It's the, they broke a lockbox outside. There was a key to the entire building in a lockbox on the road. Really? Yeah. What the... Key Jesus. to the entire building. You little shit. Do you know yeah. I've seen someone on TikTok who's in the in the building filming the, the front of the building? Like, they, they just shout at stuff at the, uh, the road. <laughs> Who? From, our, know, from some, our building. I was just scrolling through TikTok and then that, that came up. I was like, I recognise that. And then uh, it was a guy in the... He sounded like a bit of a twat, to be honest. Yeah. What's he saying? I've got a new bike. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's in there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking smash it, lad. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just go go up every floor until you find them and say, hey, quit it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> I played poker that night in London and I uh, got another four of a kind. Really? Yeah, incre- third yeah. Time it's yeah incredible. I came second. You did the lottery, man. Did you win anything coming second? No. no. Pride, honour amongst poker players. Psh, sure. Some smack on the bum. Yeah. Hey. Were you unlucky? No, I was lucky. You were right. Oh, yeah, yeah so, I watched it. Yeah, it was yeah. very good. I was a. Uh, I was just staying in because I thought, oh, I'm one away, I'm one away, and then it kept coming up on the river. That's oh, the right insane. phrase. No, I mean, were you lucky in the? Were you unlucky to not win? Was it kind of a bit? Of no, a no, at the end? no, no. It was heads up, and I, uh, yeah, it wasn't very good. Do you think there might have been a bit of a yeah. cards down the sleeve kind of trickery going on? No, a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh dealing. <laughs> Whip one out. You want to grow up, mate? <laughs> you no. peaked about ten minutes ago. Wearing, wearing football kits and talking about the crowd, loving the, the crowd loving the Yu-Gi-Oh reference. You rest your forehead age. on the table for the next hour. It'll still be, still be a great performance. But, uh, uh, Cameron, have you watched the Responder? I've seen his voice in it. It's painful to listen to Martin Freeman's voice in it, but I've not seen the show. Like a, a dodgy sort of Scouse accent. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I have actually been on Radio City this week talking about Frank Lampard going to Everton. Have you? Because the City reporter asked me to We're do back. It. We're back. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. Hello, Europe. <laughs> yes. She said, like, can you just do me, like, a little clip? 
And I thought, well, it's Radio City, so I'll have to ham it up a bit. So it's like my normal voice. You just just with, say that for the sketches. Just, <laughs> just with a bit more like, um, well, it can't be any worse than the last fella. Up the toffees. <laughs> Not the toffees. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I was going to use that clip for a different news story. <laughs> I went in and... A deranged uh, man from Bresco is on the list. I'm He's been stealing sweets from corner shops. Uh, uh, well, they, there was a scene in the final episode. Oh, yeah. and I was looking, I was like, I recognise that lake. And it was Taylor Park. where uh, B.A. And then they showed the, the cage where we used to play football. We played it once. Holy moly. So what's that? Uh, it's Taylor Park in St. Helens. In St. Helens, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, there's terrapins in the lake that bite the swan- bite the um, legs off swans. That's what the whole episode was about. <laughs> Martin, <laughs> Martin Freeman. We, we need somebody to respond to this. <laughs> Step. <laughs> Just massacred them. <laughs> I'm going into the lake. <laughs> Don't risk it. What are you going to do? I'm going to wing it. <laughs> does, does it touch the just like, yeah. it's just, it's just the on the side of the lake. It's, it's, it's about 20 yards back from the lake. He's about to get battered and then he sees me dad running along the hill. That's my son. I'm saved. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the lake. <laughs> I've got to ask. What's a terrapin? <laughs> All right, yeah, they're like little turtle kind of well, things. Well, do. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. You're in time, mate. You stink. Have little me. turtle things. Yeah. You absolutely stink. No time, mate. Stink. They stink of shit. <laughs> Everybody bought them during the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle craze, took them home as pets and thought, fuck me, these stink. So they thought, and we need to get rid of these, what do we do? And everybody just chucks them in the lake. And then a load of swans start rocking up with no legs, and it turns out the terrapins have been biting the legs off the swans. <laughs> Brutal. Sad, though. Yeah. yeah. Similar news, I had a mildly sexual experience with a McFlurry. <laughs> just had one the other day, and I was like, oh, God, that was good. <laughs> right. Here's one for you. Uh, <laughs> My girlfriend had a bowl of Weetabix and left the bowl uh, on the side. Mm. And in my head I was going, oh God, you can't do that. You've got to soak it. You've got to soak it. Then I realised that's because my mum used to have a go at me uh, when I'd leave a bowl of uh, Weetabix to, to dry. Vicious cycle. Mm. Uh, come on your mother. It would be, anno- yeah, yeah. be annoying me. Mm. And I've realised, you know, I'm just repeating stuff that has sort of been ingrained in me. Do you, uh, do you three ever have instances where you realise you've become your parents? God. Why well, I, I, I kind of... Uh, do impressions of my dad so much, <laughs> uh, ironically, that <laughs> Devin says I start to sound like my dad, which is really bad, because yeah. it's not what you want. No. no. Yeah. My mum does tend to go on. <laughs> <laughs> Once she's on a roll, you know, yeah. <laughs> Might be genetic. <laughs> to apologise. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's got the fastest fists in the West. <laughs> <laughs> Ask any of his boyfriends. <laughs> That's Martin Freeman. <laughs> In the news, not, not speaking of which, no connection here, Rylan Clark was caught demanding gear on a night out. Oh. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. Yeah, did you see the video? Give me the fucking gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck off. I got fuck off. He reaches out. He sort yeah. of reaches out for the camera because he realises it's on him. Who cares? We've all been there, mate. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. <laughs> Party night out. I care. Get him off the TV. Get him sacked. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. He did a um, thing, he didn't he, afterwards saying about how he, how it, I wasn't really asking for gear, you know. I never do drugs. Oh, I was in point? a boy band in Ibiza when I was younger and I didn't do any drugs there. Mm. Come on. Too much detail. Yeah. 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 Just listed off all the drugs he doesn't <laughs> <laughs> I don't do him cat even when you crush it in the proper way you're supposed to. <laughs> That's great great improv detail okay. though. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> um, I'm trying to push this ball up the hill and everybody else is just letting it roll down. I uh, saw yeah, that's a new story that Ten years after come down with me, I'm finally cashing in as the whisk guy. Oh, so okay. the guy who stuck the whole whisk in his mouth is now cashing in, apparently. No. I like to imagine, you know, who's booking him for an event. Is that a nightclub with loads of whisks? <laughs> Just Ryland to crush up all his gear. They were whisks. Yes, <laughs> lovely whisks. Oh, dear. Sorry, go on. I said Ryland to crush up all his gear. Oh, mate, move good. on. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. had a, you just had a rough week and you're... Oh, you're nasty. You're nasty. <laughs> So no one's going any any <laughs> Martin Freeman responded to that. <laughs> <laughs> just finds Ryan and Clark just <laughs> <laughs> They respond to season two in a tent by Taylor Park Lake. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit the deep end I am. 
<laughs> well, the leak. <laughs> no, in the no. next episode. I think how we just turned to Martin Freeman just <laughs> responding to anything. <laughs> 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 Have you had an injury that wasn't your fault? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would you book the whisk guy? What, what, what is he doing it for, like club appearances? I don't know. Probably Just would have improved my come down with me now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. No, shit that yeah. props in there because he's only cashing in. <laughs> I think he's. Doing, I think it's a cameo that he's doing. Oh, cameo! It's it's such a strange place because yeah, the amount of uh, ex footballers are on there, just reading badly off a piece of paper that the wife's holding behind the screen. <laughs> Hello, John. It's me, <laughs> Neil Ruddock. <laughs> Yes. He's on there. He'd be out yeah. of breath after yeah. that, Neil Ruddock. Yeah, He's God, in a bad way. Be, yeah. yeah, man, awful way. I'll tell you what, uh, I'm sure I did tell you, but I saw him at the Liverpool match and uh, he didn't come out for the second half. Did he not? Just scoffing. Oh, well. he might have been asleep. <laughs> Filming cameos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, it's all the rage. Oh. <laughs> Gives another whisk from the it kitchen. I need more, I need more. <laughs> yeah, it was a whisk. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it was a whisk doing it in public, wasn't it? <laughs> Respond to this, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> Uh, now we do have a brand new. with anything that now. <laughs> this is from a, a new, a new uh, company people uh, brand, and they're called Noom. Noom, Noom, Noom. Looking for a good time. Noom, yeah. Noom, Noom. Come on and fill me up. So sort of, yeah. Noom, noom, um, noom. This is Noom and their psychology-based approach to getting people on the track to eating healthier. If you want to get support uh, to lose weight for good, yeah, not just for a week. Mm. Then go to noom.com slash Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash Stephen. And they've got a, a website which you can go on. And then it's an app. I've been on there. Hmm. Um, and basically, when you go on the app, you break down what you want to do, why you want to do it, your sort of tendencies, your traits. And they have people who help you with it. Uh, you know, there's lessons... Yeah, why well, are you smiling, Cam? <laughs> See, no one can help me. <laughs> I was just thinking, we can't help you with that. <laughs> We're going to call the police. <laughs> oh, and who picks up? It's Martin Freeman. Yeah, move no, on. No, yeah. I wasn't actually going to say God. that. Finish with that now. Uh, Martin, can you respond to this joke we've had murdered? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Noom. <laughs> oh, yeah, Noom. Uh, it's a psychology-based approach. Instead of setting a strict set of rules, Noom empowers you with the knowledge and psychology to build smarter, more sustainable habits and behaviours. <laughs> Using a cognitive behavioural approach, which I learned about in college, uh, you'll focus on the why instead of the what to change your relationship with eating. I've got a bad relationship with eating. Uh, I get a little bit stressed. Ooh, muesli will help. It doesn't. Mm. Tastes good there. Uh, <laughs> everybody's journey is different, so Noom customizes a program that emphasizes progress over perfection based on your personal goals. Oh. Very nice. No food is totally off limits. Keep eating foods you love while learning to maintain a healthier balance. What's your favorite food? Mixed grill. <laughs> it's not fucking muesli. <laughs> hey, hey, no need to cuss. More than 80% of users complete the program. More than 60% of users lose 5% or more body weight. And 60% of them keep the weight off for a year or more. A year's good. Or more that is, is consistency. Tom, do you have any uh, terrible habits? Beer. Beer? Yeah, beer's a... Uh, gives you a bit of a belly. Gassy. Yeah. Mm. Who knew? My Achilles heel. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm open about my peanut, br peanut brittle addiction. That's one terrible night that I'll never get over. It's high noom. <laughs> Joe, there's, there's sometimes I expect you to come in with a little bit of information. Uh, maybe, maybe dare I say, relatability for this one, Max. And all you have is fucking it's high noom. <laughs> yes. Can we represent? Desperate to call Martin Freeman. <laughs> 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 Sign anyway, Noom, baby. Lose the weight for good. And sign up for your trial at noom.com slash Stephen. That's noom.com slash Stephen. Thank you, Noom, for our first and last deal with you, no doubt. It's Sign Noom. Hi, Noom. The secret. It's a big finale of a fistful of muesli. <laughs> Max's Euro Round. <laughs> 
and in the African Cup of Nations, uh, we're down to the final four. But by this, by the time this goes out, we'll have a winner. Still sticking oh. with Nigeria? Uh, no, no. I've read the news. I've heard they left. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing a card. Walked out, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa. Sure. Is that a team? Could be. Or just a sexy pandemic. Ooh. <laughs> Me like it. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Uh, so your prediction is the Horn of Africa. No. Uh, Deal with that, Noom. <laughs> Kenya. Kenya. Kenya, name yeah. a team that's actually in the composition. Oh, for me. Uh, do, you want, do, you want to, do you want to have the four teams that are left? Yes, please. Got Senegal, Egypt. Egypt could win. Nice. Yeah, I like that because of Mo Salah yeah. and his quest for the Ballon d'Or. Yes. And African glory. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Yes, we did. Can you wait hey, Kenny West has reportedly been going around telling people Pete Davidson is gay and has AIDS. Mm. What's going on there, Tom? No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> please, please, more. Yeah, yeah, so uh, obviously in the news this week, uh, Kanye West had a bit to say for himself, doesn't he always? <laughs> Did you hear what that loony bloke just said? That was the in-depth look from Tom Looney, who has spent the week in Hollywood getting the insider <laughs> view. Thank you, Tom. You spent so much money getting him over there. Well, well, seems well, well, no, I, I promise when this takes off, he gets mm. all the money from the segment. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a sponsor for this. Toxic waste? Uh, they, no, it's difficult. It's uh, dead in the water, that. Well, no, come on. I've, I've, the terrapin's I've, been out. I've tried. <laughs> hey! I've tried. I shouldn't call back to something that was cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cameron, got a new segment in yeah. place of headline news. It's Who Said That? You ready? Yeah, yeah, Best yeah. jingle going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to know. Quote from. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh. Who's that quote from? That's good. Always yeah. makes me laugh that. Very Latin, these... Uh... Got a problem with that, eh? No, I'm a big fan. Big Sat fan. on your Brexit brick. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow boxing. Uh, <laughs> imagine this stood on the cliffs of Dover. <laughs> you don't know none of this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a flag shagger, did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was an, that is an incredible <laughs> image. You on the cliffs of Dover, Hello. just warding them off, <laughs> slipping like, like Popeye with gammon, <laughs> I'm faltering. Ding, ding. Popeye, you're not well. <laughs> the intestines <laughs> battered. The new executives watching can't, can't help him. <laughs> That's case zero. So I saw this quote last week. It should be this week, really. This week. Long live the Emperor, Banzai! No Edmonds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, you're gonna kick yourself. <laughs> That's how I celebrate. <laughs> yeah, mate! <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> it's between the banker sat at home <laughs> and getting his boxes and katana and a note. It's time. his box. Ooh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I'm cancelled again. Yeah, you put, you yeah. put that one, man. We're kind of woke now. Yeah. Okay, now. George Takei. Uh, so David Amber. Uh No, it was Mayno. <laughs> um, it's a Japanese porn star who... Uh... Oh, that's what you're doing this morning. <laughs> In the early hours of this morning, I came across this quote. I rose early twice. Um, oh, he, uh, <laughs> in Japan, there was, a, there, was a, there was a scandal where Lockheed, the American uh, yeah. arms manufacturer, were given rights to build planes for the Japanese army. Mm. And this porn star was dead against that because it went out against everything he believed in. Yeah. So he flew a plane. He kamikazed a plane into the minister's house who uh, gave the Lockheed group um, the rights. Uh, he died, sadly, but the minister lived <clears throat> and died of a heart attack a few years later. Bit of an old story, that. Long live the emperor. Banzai. I was thinking this segment's more like what... You know what Stacey Solomon said yeah. about 
you know, Joe Swash this week. I, I can do you another one. Try and make one. it like a little bit current of things yeah. that we've seen in the news to when, give us like a chance. Got, and you got Tom Looney, a celebrity yeah. gossip. We like things fresh. Right. Yeah, we're trying to be sort of the heat magazine of the podcast world. Right. Uh, probably got a podcast. Fuck you, Pete. Uh, hello, aliens. Please stalk us. Bore off, mate. You've done yours. Jedward. Yeah? That was... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we need some fans. Oh, no! no! <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. Have I mentioned yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to know. Quote from... Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Bottom, mate. When we take Bottom. this podcast to, you know, I'm talking California, we'll yeah. join you out there for your, yes. your scouting, and we'll just be in a low rider <laughs> bouncing along. <laughs> You'll have your cat's fashion on. <laughs> Just comes out the sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting off all the people running alongside going, He's a Japanese porn star! I know that one! I speed know that up, one! Speed up so he falls out. <laughs> Get him! Burrowing, burrowing through the road. I'll catch up with him. Don't worry, lads. That's all this. Someone must have a gun. <laughs> oh, that's a dream. We now have You Laugh, You Lose, and it's Max's turn. So this is, we have 30 seconds to try not to laugh at Max. Also, a, With? New, a new twist. Whoever laughs first does it the next week. <clears throat> okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, He'll be here all year if I lose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 30 seconds. Is that what? Is that count? Already? Does that count? No. Hey, I win already. That's for me. It's pathetic. <laughs> Uh, another rule is you can't do a Yorkshire accent. I'll just start laughing at you when you're not even there. Uh, three, <laughs> two. Hello, mate. Have you heard of Crypt Keeper? Well, I'm Crypt Door Keeper, and I've been getting some lovely NFTs, uh, aka nasty fucking trims. And this is one I printed off this morning. This is really cool NFT. <laughs> nice fucking trim. Or should I say nasty fucking trim. And this is another one I printed off. It's Genie in the Lamp, and he's taken over Cave. It says, Who wandered into the cave of nasty fucking trims? It's only fucking Tom Lucy. Nasty fucking trim, that mate. Ah, what cruel god would allow such a trim to exist? I don't fucking know, mate. Max, you're doing it again, Max. <laughs> <laughs> So about 20 seconds when I got genuinely pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so it was easy from there. Nah, it wasn't. No, good. Oh, it's good. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's now time for the talking point. Do, 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 do. Max, you're coming in blind on this. Nice. I like this morning. Yeah. So, Tom Brady has retired from the NFL. Oh, I see. Some people were saying, ooh, he's the sporting goat. Mm -hmm. Well, may we debate that long into the night. But I have selected numerous sporting goats for us to decide who is the sporting goat or just get our opinion out there. So we have to choose from Tom Brady. Yeah, why not? Michael Phelps, Serena Williams, Usain Bolt, Simone Biles. And for Formula One, I've got Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher. Mm -hmm. Phil the Power Taylor. Boxing. That, well, we'll get into that one. We'll do that first, shall we? Uh, Michael Jordan. Jack Nicklaus. Lionel Messi. And Rafael Nadal. Mm -hmm. May we debate. So first of all, any of those are you going straight away? No, you're not the you're not the sporting goat. Nadal. Guess, I guess you've got to get rid of Phil the Power. <laughs> what? Are you kidding, man? Okay. okay. Are you kidding? Well, yes, a glorified ball game, isn't it? I don't think Messi could throw a you know 180, but they're doing darts. But in terms of sporting, yeah, yeah. I feel like it, it's tricky, isn't it? Because you know, in terms of the competitiveness, they've all got they've all got that. But I then guess, it is yeah. it is how many people can yeah. do what they do. That's that's for me yeah. is is what makes them different. Reaction Apparently, had a time. reputation for doing really really bad farts on stage to put well, really yeah. 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 As a fat northern man, this guy <laughs> is like a, a hero. But he's uh, he's from Stoke. Well, it's, you know, it's northwest Stoke. You know, uh, eh? West Midlands. West Midlands. Stop mm. trying to claim Stoke. Uh, boxing. First person boxing. We'll get into that. So we we have our uh, okay. boxing goat. Okay. Max, who's your boxing goat? Muhammad Ali. Okay. Okay. Because I think it's not just boxing; 
He's also known like for other stuff as well. Yeah, this is this is the sport. Purely sport. I think I think he's up there. Isn't I guess he? you can have their personality. That the sport. Last week, yeah, I kind of decided to not do personality because obviously then I went for Floyd Mayweather boxing. Yeah, uh, yeah. but he's, 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 he's what I'm horrible. Um, well, Floyd Mayweather know. was uh, yeah very good. However, his his stuff was all about like defense. Yeah, which but is uh, walking away. It works. Isn't it? Yeah, sure, it works, but I don't think he'll be everyone's sporting goat because, it, well, definitely not boxing goat. Because in a hundred years, he'll be remembered yeah. more. Also, he he ducked Pacquiao for many years until he was older. Yeah, he fought yeah. Canelo when he was very young. Canelo yeah. now probably uh, gave yeah, him a very yeah. close fight. Yeah, and he uh, he drew with Logan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Ali, he was very good. He lost five fights. Two of those were right at the end. Okay. Yeah. His last two, and the the other three people he lost to, he beat. Right, afterwards okay. yeah. Yeah. So, like in like the car park <laughs> good point <laughs> motherfucker I'd, I, I'd go for Muhammad Ali over Mayweather but I never really watched him I just don't like Floyd Mayweather I'd go for uh, Frank Bruno because he did some really good pantomimes too yeah. <laughs> is that what you learnt your act <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> come on Aladdin you prick <laughs> he's not scouse <laughs> he's in my will <laughs> should have got him instead of my will <laughs> You rub that lamp, I'll rub you out, lad. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Nice. Um, so boxing's just gone. Yeah, get rid of it. For one, we can't agree. We'll debate Hamilton Schumacher. Who are you going for? It's difficult. So obviously there's the car, isn't there? I was watching some stuff of Hamilton, like when he was karting, and it, unbelievably good. Yeah. And so I think, especially because he's not come from the money as well. I know he's... Yeah, everyone does. There's a few that, there's thing a few is, that don't. Schumacher paved the way. <laughs> And there's a few there's a couple that don't come from the big money <laughs> he drove the steamroller around Silverstone <laughs> he paved that fucking track yeah. there's nothing without him <laughs> it's a little joke for you yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton's had the best car for most of his championship wins mm-hmm. so that's what I always find tricky is if they all had the exact same car yeah so they could be a lot more interesting because yeah. uh, then yeah, you do Ponto. get who's the best yeah. Yeah. yeah who's the best driver so it's tricky with that one Either way, neither are my sporting goats. I think that's what some people don't rate Formula One for that for that reason. They still have to be. The car is too athletic. Who should we move on to next? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, Go for uh, gymnastics. Gymnastics. So we've got Simone Biles now. I've uh, done a bit of research on her. Okay. Simone Biles has won twenty-five world championships, and she's got ten more gold medals than second place, and she only started in twenty thirteen. Okay. So she's. On all the list of the most mm, world championships, yeah. yeah, all of them have have finished their careers. She's still going. She took a year out. Yeah. And in terms of being the sporting goat, I try and think of it as what's the hardest thing to do physically. Yeah. I'd say gymnastics is probably up there. You look at the kids who do gymnastics yeah. when they're young; they're just built in terms of mm. physically. Yeah. Them and sprinters, swimmers. They're yeah. All physically. Yeah. It's your whole body, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas you know, darts and golf. It's technical. <laughs> it's much less physically uh, demanding, isn't it? In no, terms of a no, sport. Hikadian. But then you, there's the other thing of rising to the top of something that's like so popular. Not that mm. golf or you know, is, but, but if, if the yeah. sport is not necessarily the most physical, but if there is a technical element or whatever, and it's so widely played, I think like football, for instance. If you know, I think if you have a goat on there for football, then yeah, you can make a good case but because would, of would the gymnastics for women be football for men though? Because you look at. As youngsters, what most people do. Did, so I don't know much about gymnastics, but I think you were saying that Zoe said it's, you have to be younger to do it. Is that right? Yeah, it's, it's your, your career is when you're young. Yeah. yeah. Although some have gone on for years. Yeah. But yeah it's, I'm not giving up yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess what's different is for, for her, in her case, she's doing uh, like the high bars, low bars, oh, the Jesus parallel God. bars, yeah, the I vault. Can do that. So that in that case, it's yes. it's very interesting, and the fact that she is so far clear, yeah, at this at such a young age is amazing. However, the thing I would say is you're not you're in tennis. You're directly yeah. you've got an opponent who's mm. going against you, yeah. So you don't have that aspect. Well, of football. What you were saying before about football is gymnastics for women, like football for men. Football is for both genders, actually. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, predominantly for women and men. But when you when you are younger and you you're going into doing something like gymnastics to be the goat, some people are going to be genetically predisposed to be more successful in that kind of sport. Mm. So especially, you know, you got Phelps on there. Yeah. For swimming, he's got double jointed ankles. 
He's six foot seven or something, so he has massive lung capacity. That means he can stay underwater for longer. And it's made him just genetically like super suited to doing that. Well, all sport. of these people will be genetically suited to what they do. That's what I'm saying. Like, so when you're younger and you're getting into trying these sports, a massive percentage of people will just be then cut off from being taken to the highest level because gen- they've not won the genetic lottery to make them. I don't know. Be that genetics good. only play so much of a part. You look at Phil Power Taylor. You could go. You could go. Oh, <laughs> Rio Ferdinand's amazing at, at football. His brother, exact same genes, pretty much. Yeah, it wasn't so wasn't anyway. Yeah, but no one's do. saying Rio Ferdinand's yeah. the goat, like uh, separated to a higher level. Well, we'll move mm. on to him soon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Anton Ferdinand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also for me, I think anyone can kick a ball, pretty much. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could have said that ball. to a worse person. <laughs> <laughs> everyone can run. <laughs> But in, even doing like a backflip, oh yeah. come on, it's it's like a, a short percentage. <laughs> Are we really not golf? Yeah, play house to golf. Golf's gone. It's gotta yeah. be Tiger Woods anyway, because it would have been ta- yeah, Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods would be, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's uh, Jack Nicholas has the most championships. Well, I know, even the most famous Jack. Yeah. Nick. I think, I think, <laughs> and I think Tiger Woods might have been going for longer now than Jack Nicholas. Mm. I, yeah, I guess you've got the all-time thing. And he did fall off a little bit, didn't he? Uh, when Quite his literally in his car. Personal life kind of fell apart. And that's that's part of it, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Gas going would have been good if he yeah. uh, put the bottle down. Philip Howe Taylor. Uh, yeah, get rid of him because I'm not going to win it. Am I? <laughs> okay, so now we move on to. Should we move on to tennis? Because we've got I've yep. got two tennis players. Sure. Yeah. Cool. We've got the women's. Uh, Serena Williams is the. She's won the second most, but the one who's won the most, I didn't. Never heard of Serena Williams has got 23 And she's In our generation Has been yeah. so far clear Of too anyone far. else it's Just to even debate it In the men's It's a lot closer Rafael Nadal Has only just become The most With 21, 21. However He's also got an Olympic gold medal Which Federer Pretty and Djokovic good. Don't have yeah. He came into it When Federer was yeah. You know mm. Prominent at his peak And mm. he's also had to compete With Murray Djokovic So yeah. many So to, to come out on top uh, at the moment, he is he's the the tennis goat. Could have changed again though by next year. Yeah. Possibly. To me, the best. I think I think Djokovic is the best player I've ever watched. I'd have said like uh, Federer over Nadal, but I'm a heathen and not as educated on tennis as you two. He was great to watch, Federer. But again, you talk about genetically. I think, I think the other two are just physically. Had something that Federer tennis, didn't have. Tennis now is about who's the tallest and yeah. most powerful. It's very, yeah. very weird. Yeah. The um, but they they say the hardest uh one to win is the French, and that's what Nadal's dominated because it's a it's a longer game. You have to mm. endurance comes into it. Ah. So to have mastered that does make a case for him. Mm. They are they are all very close, but the at the time, Nadal is leading, and he's got the gold medal. So Nadal, we say Nadal. I am. In the overall ranking of all the best ever, this, or are we just agreeing that he's the best in tennis for now? He's the best in tennis. Well, yeah, we'll say he's men. the best in tennis then. And Serena Williams, best yeah. woman. No in- contest. Yeah. No yeah. contest. Married a guy that uh, founded Reddit. Wow. Really? Money. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so now we have Michael Jordan. MJ. Yeah. He has been in Space Jam. Very true, but so is yeah. LeBron James now. No. Uh, is, is Michael Jordan the best basketballer? What about Steph Curry, man? Yeah. I don't sure. know anything about yeah. basketball. I don't know enough. I mean, I know who the... It's people who've won more yeah. than him. Woody Harrelson, for one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and he proved white men can jump. Exactly. That's bigger than anything he's achieved. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go. Uh, and also, LeBron James is still going. Yeah. He's done very well. LJ. Yeah. And I saw something today that he's his uh, like scoring percentage, even in his nineteenth year of his career, is higher than Michael Jordan at his peak. So really, there is this thing of nostalgia and how we kind of gloss over. Yeah, uh, the and also his the, brand, so yeah, big, isn't it? Like, Personality aspect to it yeah. as well. Is there not a thing of like newer people to a sport do better? Yeah. So like you know like George Best and then Ronaldo like. I assume Ronaldo would beat George the Best. The thing with the thing with old <laughs> I have to assume. What? <laughs> Football, <laughs> obviously. I mean, that's the generation thing, isn't it? The game changing, and now it being more athletic. Yeah, and that and that's possibly. So, is why, it is it fair know. to judge 
George like, Best so you, or so you have an older Steph person. It's difficult to compare eras. Speaking of football, Messi, the goat. <laughs> I've always said Messi, but then I do swing back and forth with Messi and Ronaldo, just because I think if you're going to give if you're going to give it to a footballer. You'd have to kind of make the case that it's going to be one of them too, probably. They've become, yeah, in a league. Well, is it about stats or is it about like, you know, in this instance, in purely football instance, the the beautiful game, what the players that you watch make you feel. And there's an argument that like Maradona Mm. could probably do things with the ball that no other player Bar maybe Hand Ronaldinho. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ronaldo doesn't make me feel anything it, when I watch him play. He's just like, whereas, efficient. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. What about Rob Green? Is he getting a look in? <laughs> case for him. London Dollar will finish him. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Tony Hibbert spans two sports football and fishing. <laughs> we haven't got a I think we have game. a winner. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring this out too early, so I just finished the conversation there. Like, fair enough. The reason why I've put Messi is because he's got the most Ballon d'Ors, which is sort of the yeah. the best hand. Yeah. So, yeah. However, he's got the most goals. It's a bit political, isn't it? Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, in terms of him versus Ronaldo in stats, goals and assists, Messi's got more. He's yeah. played 150 games less. Mm. Yeah. Well, which makes me think case closed. Yeah. In that sense, they are going to say now though, that. Messi can't do it in another league. He still he's might. gone to France, and he still might. That that PSG team is an unbalanced mess. Yeah, there's not enough of the ball mm. to go around the front three players. Get another ball on them. <laughs> <laughs> they probably if they played with two balls, they'd batter everyone. Watch it. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, I think La Liga is a better a better league to be in to build them kind of stats for the big goals mm. and assists. Mm. Certainly against the lesser teams, whereas Ronaldo spent less time in that league. You but could argue the, that if he'd gone a couple part. of years earlier. It might be more level, possibly. Maybe. But you look, you look mm. at Messi's record against mm. Premier League teams in the Champions it's amazing. League. Yeah. So it's not like oh, he's not going to do it like against you, Phil you, Power Stoke. <laughs> yeah. You say that Ronaldo is like really efficient and has obviously built himself up to mm. be an elite finisher and all this, but you look at Messi and then that you, you do question like, is this guy an alien? He's the best passer of a ball. He's the best. He's the best dribbler. Shooter. He's arguably the best shooter. Yeah. yeah. Isn't Why don't you put nope. your name in the uh, in the running? Hey, oh, I've had my chance. No, no come on, Tom. Time, come on, thank you, Case. Oh, Live the dream. Yeah, I mean, I hey, can... goat Tom Cooney. No, it could have been me. It could have been me. But it's you know, still this good. Isn't, this is crossing mind. Messi out and putting <sighs> possibly. We'll put Tom Cooney question mark. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, funnily enough, <laughs> um, I only learned to say it. Yeah, man, I knew it. <laughs> so for tennis, should we just say Serena Williams because the men have made it too close? Yeah. She just went, yeah. Fuck all that. Embarrassing. That's, yeah, Get but out, you can't Rafa, just say because done. the competition's not up to scratch. <coughs> no, she she even beat her own sister. Yeah, yeah, really. That's you ever beaten your own cold. sister? <laughs> yeah, give me with, that amount with a tennis racket. <laughs> 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 you won't hit me. You won't hit shadow. But... <gasps> <gasps> so it's <was> reason. <laughs> I'm the goat. I'm the goat. Uh, so now we have okay. Michael Phelps. Okay, um, genetic freak. Yeah. Ridic- yeah, ridiculously. But, but everyone in swimming is is similar shape to him, aren't they? No, but for him, for him to be six foot seven, have double jointed ankles, <laughs> that's that's stupid. I go swimming like every week. Yeah. Do you want to put your name? Um, you can't make your ankles go like a fucking motorboat do. thing. We could you? Dial for maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's got 28 Olympic medals, 23 gold, Fuck but yeah. he averaged seven events per Olympic. So he had a lot of opportunities to win. But there's two Olympics where I think he won eight gold medals. So he just dominated for that period. Fuck yeah. See, I kind of respect respect what he's done, but I think there's... Why? <laughs> really? Because there's pictures of you at the Olympics just... <laughs> Just <laughs> scornfully looking at him. That could have been me. <laughs> but I can't get it wet. That should have been me. <laughs> hey, Michael. You're a lucky guy. <laughs> Both Olympics in a row. <laughs> Double joint these. <laughs> Smoking two splits. That's it. You just get high before yeah. everything. I prefer my goat to have a technical aspect to what they do because I think when you are so physically dominant I appreciate that you've taken what you've got and you've put it into winning and getting to the top of your sport but when something is so physically based 
I doesn't. I, I'm, I'm not as attracted to that as I am to something well, which is like Messi's at a physical disadvantage for a tiny kid. Is he? Is it physical like, disadvantage? He's got a really low centre of gravity. It that does, but him so does Warren Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Great Warren, footballer. Warren Davis ste- stepping up from thirty yards out <laughs> against Real Madrid. <laughs> Michael Phelps was going to do other sports, but his yeah. coach said, stay in your lane. <laughs> ah, yeah. He's going to give me for that. Well. Well. What? Tom Brady now. Tom this, Brady, yeah. This is a... Uh, so yeah. physically, he is so far from it in terms of being the best athlete in the NFL. Mm. He was also under a regime, his, his team, that were just set to win. He had the, he's got the best coach of all time. Mm. It's a bit like a Man United player under Ferguson. Mm. Or Messi at Barcelona. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's like had, he's had a few mess. stinkers. <laughs> they were they were set to win. So I think no for Brady because I prefer Patrick Mahomes. Kisses his uh, kids on the lips. Say no more. Yeah. yeah. American. Wasn't that David Beckham? Uh, They're all kissing each well. other's yeah, yeah. kids on the lips, aren't they? They're yeah. all kissing each other's kids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> cross Max Smith <laughs> off that fucking. <laughs> Mate, I'm, I'm a bit yeah, with He knows Iron. shit. He knows shit, shit we don't. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Underwater kissing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we didn't get it. We need, we need his face for this. <laughs> Give your uncle Michael a kiss. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Quick to the shallow pool. <laughs> Can't get us there. <laughs> so, <laughs> shallow pool. Just, one we haven't spoken about is Usain Bolt. He was so good. He took the pace. Yeah, so I had a couple of runners down. Uh, Bolt being one of them. Yeah. Um, Great name. He won. He no, won no. nine Olympic gold medals, yeah. but lost one because in the relay, one of his teammates tested positive yeah. for enhanced but I feel like no, you, you know far, me and Cameron it? could have ran a leg yeah. in that race and we yeah. still would have won we they <laughs> <laughs> no we we yeah. however when they found out we're not actually Jamaican <laughs> what we're not here right. to take <laughs> part <laughs> we're here to take over <laughs> just shadow boxing with the baton <laughs> hey, everyone they're trying to they're trying to run past me in a turn right? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. he's going backwards <laughs> <laughs> Wait at the finish line for everyone else. Come on, he's <laughs> He was so good, he, he could take the piss. Like, there's that picture of like mm. everyone's sprinting their heart out and he turns around to the cameraman and's like... Well, he's, 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 it's the stardom yeah, of it as well, yeah, like just yeah. to be the fastest... And the most relaxed yeah. before he raced. He was... The fastest man in the world. Ever. No shadow of it. For now. On the world. For now. (laughs) No one can question that he was at the... Humans, to be fair, the entire human body has genetically grown for... is, um, (laughs) is designed to run really long distances to hunt down animals like you'd injure an animal and then you'd have opposable hand opposable thumbs and hands that didn't need to be used while you're running so you could hold water and food and then run after an animal outlast it and track it so then basically outlast it so then when it's dead you could drag it back home so humans genetically designed for running and he was the best runner no, so no, the reason his. why I'd go for Usain Bolt over yeah. Simone Biles is because Pretty much everyone, especially as a kid, runs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone does it. It's everyone not everyone. Some people sit there and demand their mum to bring them something. <laughs> Wheel me around, mother. <laughs> <laughs> so was that Cameron? Yeah. <laughs> Take me to the garden. I'm on a in shadow a, box. In a golden wheelbarrow with some grapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let the games begin. Yeah. <laughs> Your mum wheelbarrowed you. <laughs> Interesting. Damn. You might go. <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> nice. Okay, she's mine. <laughs> Bleep me out. <laughs> Not <after. laughs> what do you think, goat? <laughs> Stephen was talking to himself. <laughs> uh, so we've got just the occasionally a fist. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> so Usain Bolt. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah. Well done, Usain. There's, the, there's that ninth gold medal. <laughs> we'll send that in the post. Just give us it's your crazy. address. Camera, get some water, please. Oh yeah, come on. Uh, here we go. It's time for. Thank you very much. Another ad read. No. Oh, it's, it's another. It's Valentine's Day with Manscaped. Ooh. Ooh. I love.
love to love you, baby. Yes. Guns should be a fine thing. You'll love this cam. Roses are red, violets are blue. Don't let a wild pube wreck you. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and our sponsors at Manscaped are here for you with the best tools to get your balls ready for the special occasion. This V Day, <laughs> every day was a V Day for me for the ages. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, you can't relate. You can't relate, mate. Don't try and get on the Virgin Group. Yeah. That's so true, mate. He's <laughs> so <laughs> rampant as a boy. You're spreading your seed like a farmer. Just all them kids. <laughs> <laughs> what a weirdo, man. <laughs> if I came, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> if I come in this pool, no, I've poo- shagged all you. <laughs> oh, God. No! <laughs> time out for you, mate. Thanks, time out for you. Uh, it's time to join... <laughs> Um, it's time to join the four million men living at Max Smith <laughs> who trust Manscaped, the leaders in below the waist grooming. With our exclusive offer, go to manscaped.com and use the code STP for 20% off and free shipping. Is he in the pool or stood on the side? <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near, mate. <laughs> Just one of those lounges at a start. On, on the diving board, making his shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gone on my foot again. <laughs> the lifeguards are coming up. Stay back. <laughs> it's all that big, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sorry, Manscaped. Yes, uh, Should we start the, again? the number one product <laughs> in, in this package is the Lawn Mower 4.0. Ooh. This electric trimmer is designed to trim hair on loose skin. <laughs> and get this, the trimmer's advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate balls. And guess what? You, you, it's waterproof, so you can you know, shave it in the, in the pool before you uh, <laughs> do whatever you like. And don't forget to smell good, not only around your balls, but all over. Made with their signature scent, the Manscaped Refined Cologne. We'll complement your collection with smell perfection. Uh, get Go to manscaped.com for, your, for our exclusive offer of 20% off and free shipping with the code STP. Your balls and lady, or man... Mm. Well, thank you. Psh, just about, uh, just about kept us on board there, Manscaped. Mm. Now they lost our uh, little deal we've got going on. <laughs> 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 we read your ads. You send me pubes. <laughs> Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. Hey, Cameron, hey. and and listeners, this week we are changing it up. Okay, we now have. <clears throat> A text message oh. that one of us has either sent or received. Yeah. The message is, honestly, no flamingos. Okay. Uh, okay. So now you can uh, you can ask each of us, you know, who we received it off or sent it to. Okay. Okay, Max. <laughs> we'll start with you. This was an inside joke at school after I had an uh, argument with a host at Longleat. A host at Longleat. Yeah. You know Longleat Safari Park. Oh, right. So you had an argument with... Well, so I said, uh, so we were talking about the animals. Yeah. I brought up flamingos. They said there yeah. weren't any. I had an argument because yeah, they said... What did you say to them? Fuck you. Not bad. No, no, I didn't say that. No. I was just like, well... We've got a lie, haven't we? Lies and lies. Not at all. Lies Not at all. Lies. Boring lies story. Is yeah. that boring? Yeah, long leap. What else animals? was there at long leap? <laughs> Fucking lions, mate. How old were you at long leap? <laughs> like 10. And you got a text message? Yeah. Embarrassed. Man had a phone since so he was at 10. So I didn't someone, have a phone at 10. Yeah, because um, you so were born fucking 50 years ago. Someone was asking about the same phone the other day. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't have the same phone. Someone was asking about same the story the other day. They wanted to know. <laughs> huh? This Is this text message from 10 years ago? No. Right. So it's, it's an inside joke. I don't know anyone who's still in touch with... Well, you forget right. he's still the prom king, so he goes back and every get, year. Max is in Portsmouth most weekends. <laughs> just goes there gets off at the station honestly no flamingos <laughs> still, n- still no flamingos baby classic line man classic like there line. was flamingos he just oh forget it <laughs> takes a different person to flamingo land every week <laughs> this is what you could have move here this is what you could have shut I, up Cameron I think you're fibbing I think you're fibbing Max go on Tom right, okay. what's the story of this uh, my dad sent me that text fucking boring that <laughs> it's Bye. a bit isn't it <laughs> Dad never texts him. <laughs> so, what's the context of you? Uh, so, steps? me and my brothers, uh, we always buy my dad. Uh, for a while, we buy him like just useless presents that uh, no, 
they're usually animal based so he's got a big uh, he's got a picture of um, kind of a warning sign saying that there's bears in the area up in his living room he usually don't have twinks in here this is a really <laughs> pleasant surprise uh, nice. my brother has a housewarming gift got him a big stone gorilla for his garden oh right uh, that's nice and me and David got him so a, the gorilla, gorilla was alive but stoned yeah uh, so we, we got him this, uh, with Michael Phelps <laughs> see that long leak <laughs> <laughs> There you go, mate. There you go. Oh, mate. <laughs> Great memory. <laughs> Cherished memory. <laughs> Damn. But he's got a flamingo and a stork. Link and a stork on over flamingo. <laughs> that's, that story. Yeah, 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 that's his dad. Uh, I just asked, his birthday's coming up next month, so I asked him... Uh, what, what you want and he said no he flamingos said, um, we were chatting for a bit and he just said honestly no flamingos so I that think sounds very believable I think he's done with it now go right. on then what's the context then Stephen uh, this was a text from Joe McGrath that I received no I not believe it already a lie <laughs> well the, even the lack of grammar you no. know Joe yeah I know seen him subtitle stuff I know that if he has <laughs> the opportunity to be anywhere near an animal he's taking it <laughs> he's grasping it with both hands pants he, down uh, <laughs> no, I'll just let you ask questions I won't, I won't elaborate you trying to play a game with me, boy? <laughs> I'm sucking this pipe, not yours, honey. <laughs> Much to my chagrin. <laughs> oh? Sherlock Holmes? No, we won't get that. I know, you're going to try to... Yeah, yeah. I get it! <laughs> and, uh, Dr. Watsoff. <laughs> you're a Moriarty's. <laughs> Lost me down too thick. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy's yours. <laughs> He's had a few home runs today, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so go on. What's the context? I was sent this text message by Joseph McGrath yeah. in regards to Flamingo Land, a place right. he visited several months ago. <laughs> what did he go there for and why were you asking him about it? He was there with his girlfriend, yeah. who shall remain nameless. They wanted to go see the flamingos at Flamingo Land. Uh-huh. Where is Flamingo Land? Is it somewhere between here and Grimsby? Uh, and he went there. And it's in what? Yorkshire, I'm sure. It is. Honestly, no flamingos. Outrageous. It's in Yorkshire, what near Grimsby. What were you so. asking about this for? Did you want to go yourself? I just uh, hey? sometimes chat to Joe. What? No. You need to moisturise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Can you see me through this? You got pink eye. <laughs> 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 This is my investigation, I think you'll find. I'll ask the questions around here. But hey. Yes, medical investigations are ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> investigation, who trumped on my pillow? <laughs> Honestly, There's only one man for the job. <laughs> it was me again. <laughs> I solved the case every time. I think I've made my decision. I, uh, I shut the case. <laughs> So you're torn between two? <laughs> no, I think no. you're telling a lie. I don't think you talk to Joe in your own time. Mm. How dare you? I think Tom is telling the truth, and you two are telling a big old pocky pie. <clears throat> no. Really? It was you? No. No. Me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long leap, baby. I was. I talked to all the kids in my school. What the class. fuck was that story? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking I was, flamingos! I was three years old. <laughs> no, <laughs> remember just... maths in year three? If you have three flamingos and one flies away. Oh, <laughs> that's good. It was yeah. my review of Chicken Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have worked. Should have seen it coming, really. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, just the title. Yeah. Making a new one, new Chicken Run. Mm. Oh, probably going to get slagged off in the uh, comments for our sporting goats. Going to be some American yeah. scene, yeah. Tom Brady. If he comes for you, you're not going to escape, yeah. are you? Well, How can you compare good. different sports? Really, well, yes, you know, is that it's easy, difficult, isn't it? Yeah, apples and oranges. Yeah, chalk and cheese. Great duo. Yeah, weightlifting duo. Oh, <laughs> nice. Apples and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's a bit similar to fish and cushion. Sorry, mm-hmm. guys. Chalk and eggs. Shut up and sit down. We have a joke thief that needs to be punished pronto. Yeah, that noise means I need to be punished pronto, guys. Let me know in the comments what my punishment will be. Thanks. Wow. 
<laughs> what the and, fuck and is now that? we wait. Uh, brought, it, brought it in that? last week to stop any joke theft. Ryan got it three times, mm. so he's in big trouble. <laughs> he was working. You, you got it a few times, didn't you? Was it twice? Got it once. Was it just once. Uh, you got it, you got it once, once as well. Too, yeah. uh, we're changing it up this week. Hey! Uh, we're not going to go straight to uh, your segment because oh. I maybe don't have the file yet. But we are going to Tom Looney. Oh. Looney, Looney, Got some uh, would you rather would you rather this week? Oh. What yeah. happened to these great lists? It's a list of uh, would you rather's. Well, for wow. Yeah. I just thought, we'd, you know, let's mix it up. So, what we do is the final question. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know we could just swap and change segments. <laughs> you do all the fucking time, mate. That's right? Would you rather give up sweet treats? Or porn. Oh, porn. For some of us, the one on the same. Yep, porn. <laughs> Sorry, come here. <laughs> For this um, is at home. Cameron just dribbled. <laughs> <laughs> porn is uh, a sweet treat. Mm. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, would he? Play the Oh, it's coming, mate. It's coming, it's coming. Demos. <laughs> I'd rather give up uh, porn. Yeah. Yeah. I believe Max's was more of a theft than mine, so he should be punished. Mm. No, I don't listen to camera. Okay, would you rather have Ryan's hair <laughs> for the best? <laughs> what? Would you rather have Ryan's hair or Dave's way with words? Oh, God. Ryan, Ryan's hair. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Ryan's hair. Dave Where can be charismatic, but he's also a moron. Yeah. yeah. You're not watching either. I couldn't read the news with that voice. No. No. Oh, God, no. Okay, would you rather never wash your genitals again or you can only wash them in the Piccadilly Gardens fountain? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take that. Yeah, sneak off at night. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Rub a dub dub. Yeah. Did you get arrested for that? Uh, you could, but yeah. obviously if you go when it's quiet. It's I was going to say in broad there, daylight, but I mean, that makes it a bit <laughs> tricky, doesn't it? You, she... you live not too far away, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get some feedback. <laughs> Here he comes now. <laughs> <laughs> push him, push him. <laughs> this uh, is your chance, Matt. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> Where's this come from? <laughs> Why am I working in a pool? <laughs> I'm glad I gave up these streets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm counting 30 young kids in that fountain right now. <laughs> Weirdo, bringing kids into it. <laughs> Now's your chance. That makes it bad, look bad that you're watching it, mate. Yeah, yeah. it does. I'm uh, yeah. counting them. <laughs> Because for you, mate, I'm helping you out. You've you've you've, you've recruited me. You sick fuck. I was worried about being arrested. And yet you're wanking into a fountain. I think I'm safe. Oh, Would you rather be always be hungry or always be itchy? God, it's just, just living daily life here for me. Where's the itch? Oh, the crabs. Oh, it's just all over, mate. Tastes so good. Your whole body's back. itchy. Yeah, you're just like proper itchy, Can't mate. Wait. Oh, got hunger. hunger. Yeah. If your whole body from top to Top to toe is itching. Yeah. I'd rather be hungry. But then you have the constant, like, pleasure of scratching it. Yeah. Pleasure on demand. Whoa. Yes, please. Because yeah, eating can't satisfy your need. It doesn't anyway. <laughs> to be fair, they say Labradors are always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Genetically, Ew. Labrador's are always hungry. A few of them lost their appetite yeah. when they visited Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. Would you rather get caught uh, cheating or watching animal porn? Oh, I'm watching animal porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could say it was for a segment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, just, yeah. It's sad that that applies. Uh, thank you very much, Tom. Press for time. Looney, 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 Looney. Did you make those up? Some of them, yeah. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. You need help. <laughs> yeah, most of them. <laughs> Did you try them out before? Uh, on people. No, I just mean like <laughs> research. Test them so yeah. you know what they're like. Uh, no, no, this was uh, two in the morning. <laughs> no. no. I need a wee. Okay. Yeah, same. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, I'm hey, me. Holy moly. Oh, fellas. Look who he is, man. Oh, only me, man. <laughs> and my homeboy, man. I've not seen you before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm new, man. <laughs> I'm uh, so I'm, fresh, man. I'm so fresh, man. <laughs> Little intern, man. This guy's a keeper, man. Oh, thank you, pal. Number one apprentice, y'all. <laughs> what, what brings you here today, fellas? Uh, we had to uh, 
Talk to you, papi. We scared, man. Talk to me. I'm yeah, fucking man. freaked out, man. <laughs> You're supposed You're to be Tom Looney, man. <laughs> You're meant to be crazy as nuts, man. We aspire to be like you, man. I kick the dog in the bum, <laughs> man. Stop talking again, man. Suck my whole foot up, man. I lost the shoe. <laughs> you loco and I like that, man. <laughs> Thanks, papi, man. <laughs> I'm not your pappy man. Why, man? Because you're so, 45, I'm 42. Oh, shit, man. So what, what's your relationship? He's, he's my apprentice, man. I'm apprentice, man. <laughs> my other two com- companions, they're dead, man. Dead? Yeah, man. What ah. happened to them? Auto-erotic is the Tom Looney talking about British people liking the weather. He said... This oh, is so fucking boring, man. Yeah, it was bad, that. They jumped bad off bad. a cliff, man. Uh-huh. And they missed the floor, man. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> oh, they hit the floor, man. <laughs> they missed the floor. No, what what happened? They, they fell up. The <laughs> They're still falling, man. <laughs> you got fucked up, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> fucked his nuts, man. <laughs> 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 Their last words were How shit is it that number six is Yorkshire pudding, man? Uh, <laughs> they look uh, forward to the Christmas We're watching, special. obviously. Oh, do, yeah, do your research. <laughs> I like hula hoops, man, but don't go on about it. <laughs> Fucking poor cocktail, man, for five minutes, man. <laughs> I'm on my deathbed going, I want those minutes back. <laughs> Why are you on like your deathbed? <laughs> I said that like this for 10 minutes. <laughs> I had to stop him from putting a bullet in his ear, old man. <laughs> Unfortunately, he encouraged it, man. <laughs> I did, man. I said, do it, bitch. <laughs> no, I just meant by trying to stop him. Oh, it. I was, yeah. I was no. closer to the edge, man. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what I did, man. Is that what you meant? I was lying, <laughs> man. <laughs> I think you've been hanging around with someone that uh, is a little bit boring, man. <laughs> that's so true, this man. This chump over here goes on chump? and on and on. Oh, yeah, I never. Fuck me, you man. You with the cocktail, man. <laughs> the c- <laughs> when I'm <laughs> listen to that lead. You never heard of Northwest Fingers of Fire? <laughs> no, I haven't, man. No, man. Do you want it? <laughs> Tijuana's tickle champion, right there, man. <laughs> man. I've heard of them. I've heard of them. <laughs> Why are you wearing a jacket, man? We're from Mexico, you dumb bitch. Because I'm in a colder climate, man. No, we always hot. We I always know, run man. Hot. You really fucking hot, man. No, I don't like this, man. No, Every time you make so it sexual, <laughs> man. No, it's not sexual, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight as nuts, man. You, you keep talking about nuts, man. No, man. You know what, man? It really scares me that Tom Looney's so shit now, man. It's so simple, man. Yeah, man. What would you say, Pete? Fucking the first day, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah, man. Anything you want to see? Top 10 honey badges attacks, y'all. Oh, that's yeah. fucking that's sick, good man. Idea. Yeah, Fair. that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Starting with this punk man, set him on him, man. <laughs> you have to make the attacks, man. <laughs> Don't let him talk about it afterwards. <laughs> Where the grass was green. <laughs> Fucking Meg's it, man. He <laughs> man. <laughs> Top ten punk bitches, you shot, man. <laughs> with this guy at number one, two, three, four, five, yeah, I can go with man. You get yeah, the job, four more man. times at least, man. <laughs> What's he googling? <laughs> Boring shit to say. <laughs> He wrote the document, man. <laughs> and then Tom Looney copied it because it was online, man. You're telling me, Dad, to print off the Biff panels, you're in for it, you chief. <laughs> 20... I don't know what he's on about. <laughs> the bit is a like callback to earlier, man. We're not, we're not chiefs either. We are cartel leaders. Not yeah, chiefs. man. Cocktail leaders. Car- cartel. What's one of them? What cartel the, f- the gang. You know how to fucking us, read a book, man. No. Mm-hmm. This hombre needs a pop, pop, pop in his He pop, needs a pop, pop, pop at home teaching him stuff, man. <laughs> yes, man. Like cartels, man. <laughs> anyway, man, get crazy, man. Yeah, get I'll try get, and, get I'll try funny as well. <laughs> Do the low come on, wash, it, wash your hair, man. <laughs> and stay away from this chump, man. <laughs> Here's your second tone. <laughs> this this boring burrito, <laughs> as we call him. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Man. Yeah, you have heard of me. <laughs> the boring burrito. Stuff, stuff with stale knowledge, man. <laughs> so and we stuff. fried beans. <laughs> hey, I love beans, They're lovely, man. Them. They're lovely, they are. Uh, should we get out of here, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, i got to go the, uh... see a man about dog, man. Oh, no, man. we missed our flight. Let's stick around oh, for a few no. weeks. Oh, yeah, okay. man. <laughs> I'll see you later, boys. You keep it 100. You keep it 50-50, man. Thanks for the feedback, fella. Hey, Cameron, look at these props I found. Wow! (laughs) No, you've not made a rule, have you? (laughs) Yep. Oh, God. What is it? No more guests. See them fucking Mexicans again. (laughs)
Oh, see. That's, the, that's the Brexit in you. <laughs> You're back on the cliffs, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Cammy Whammy G tells you how it's gonna be. You can't handle the truth. Well, I didn't vote for you. Right. First rule, seeing as we were on about sporting stuff before, yeah. I was thinking about this yesterday. No, I've cut that. You get, a, <laughs> you know, you get like um, kids at school who you think you, they're not very good at I sport. They were dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Yeah. You think you know? Uh, as being, you know, the, the thing I was saying about a genetic predisposition yeah. towards you certain sports. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll just I'll just briefly go over it again then. <laughs> oh, not cameras, I think that people people should be allowed. <laughs> people should be allowed to have a like a free test on the NHS yeah. to test them for what sports they'd be best suited to play and be good at. And then everyone would be healthier. Cameron, people can't get cancer treatment at the moment from the NHS. And you <laughs> well, you've got a bloody sword. I, <laughs> I remember when Each I was volleyball young. volleyball for you, sir. <laughs> my dad saw the side of me. Give me the news, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> saving your money. I'm a cricket umpire, that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we say no. No gavel oh, pun this time. But we got more. Do you, can, can you bang it and say no? No. <laughs> so, back in the olden days, when someone was a very naughty boy, oh, a history lesson. They'd stick him in the shackles and they'd throw rotten, mouldy fruit at him like tomatoes and onions. I think <laughs> Boris. <laughs> I think Boris Johnson and anyone who's found guilty of having lockdown parties should be one of them. One of each of them should be wheeled out to different cities in the UK because we don't want to travel. Stick them again? in the shackles. Give everyone a bit of yeah in the golden wheel panel. <laughs> that's for VIP <laughs> treatment. Still in it. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, will you move? <laughs> Ooh, aye, aye, <laughs> they should wheel one of them out to every city in the UK. Put them in the put them in stores, and we should all get to chuck mouldy fruit to them if they're found to have been guilty yeah. of having lockdown parties. Like Make everyone feel about it. And then, stores, and then, and then back know, to running like, government, yeah? Like shackles and that. <laughs> you mean like HMV? Yeah, well, you know, someone has to do that, so yeah. might as well be them. Let them have a shower for... No, don't let them have a shower. Let them do it stinky. Right. What about, um, you know, the choice of fruit and veg? Do we get to pick? No, it's just free. It's just whatever's... You know, because it's going to go off anyway to yeah. the supermarkets. Well, the but it's like a potato allowed. Well, you can bring your own, yeah. Someone might die. Soft boil it a it's bit, though, because they're very... Um, Someone could well, throw something that's what about been, stone been nasty. Fruit? Well, not st- well. This is the thing. Mouldy brick. Do they deserve it? Yeah. <laughs> Do they deserve it? I'd, uh, I'd throw cheese and wine, but have the wine in a in a glass bottle. Yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and the cheese. The cheese, in the <laughs> <laughs> the cheese wrapped in barbed wire. <laughs> Just the way I like it. How I eat. So we're going to publicly execute the staff yes. on number 10. No, just too like bruise him a bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's Ta-da! Nice. Public right. execution. It's, it's so annoying, isn't it? Have you seen any of the... Uh, oh, do you know what's your segment? No, go on, go on. I am interested. No, like, uh, you, get, you get kicked out of... Mm. Um, the commons, don't you? If you if you accuse someone of lying or call someone a that liar, that's hilarious. Ian Blackford did it yesterday. Like you can just tell a lie, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, "I oh, can't call him on it." Like yeah. he can just eat. Like he's he's saying that Keir Starmer was responsible for not prosecuting what? Jimmy Savile. Yeah, no. So and he, you can't turn yeah. around and say you're a lying cunt. Well, yeah, you know. In in Parliament yesterday, the head of the SNP said um, the Prime Minister has misled the House, and then Lindsay Hoyle got up and was like, "I can't let you say that. You're gonna have to take it back." And then he got up. And he went, but he has, and he's a liar. And then he went, right, I'll give you a chance to take that back and say, in this case, he's told us a lie. So he just stood up to more dramatically make his case and just say, he is a liar. And then he just got up and walked out before they could kick him out. Uh, And then the Prime Minister said that Keir Starmer didn't prosecute Jimmy Savile for being a nonce. And then before he had the chance to get, you know, diddled for it, he fucked off to Ukraine. Yeah. Well... So we just make the last one, don't let him back in. Yeah. 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 Make Change him, the locks. Make him and anyone else who's been bad oh. in the news go and fight the front lines of Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Against, against Russia, Russia or for, for which side, Cam? For which side? For or against Russia. Yeah. Against Help Russia. with the invasion of Ukraine. <laughs> It'll be over in 10 minutes if I went down there. <laughs> we don't turn around. <laughs> 
Hey, you dirty room <laughs> pal fella. <laughs> it's a block from Cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> Cl- Cliffs is just a bloke. <laughs> Don't invite him again, Cliff. <laughs> Man, fucking bad, bad Cliff. You, you hear Cliff Rich's mournful song <laughs> coming over the hills. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send them all to the front lines. There we go. Well Got done. a lot done this Green week, pie. boys. Green pie. Well, Got a lot done. Well done, mate. Done. Powerful. And would you rather be framed for a crime? And you have a real but winnable fight to prove your innocence, or have Ryan's hair. Joe, you know I uh, that's criminal to be right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I have Ryan's hair, I'm getting punished for something. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you have Ryan's hair, you you probably would want to lock yourself away for yeah. about twenty years. Might turn you to a life of crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So angry at the world. The world. You know, why me? <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Yeah. I just do Ryan's hair and just style it horrifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexican. Make it, yeah, just work with it. Diet, uh, diet red. Yeah, that'd be cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could shape it up. What would you do if you developed the same hair as Ryan over the next oh, six months? God. Six months' time, it's been going that way. and Probably it's... just stop making the jokes to him. Yeah. Mm. Become a lot more empathetic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're nasty, aren't they, Ryan? Don't listen to them. I think he looks great. <laughs> I like the way it's so thin at the top. <laughs> <laughs> like when uh, there's a mild breeze, you can see my whole scalp. I'll say Ryan's hair. Yeah, Ryan's hair. Yeah? Yeah. I'd do the fucking crime. Yeah. My nose bleeding. <laughs> no, but my hand did. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. Big Bergerac conk. <laughs> For anyone on the uh, Stephen Joyce podcast, uh. bingo, had Bergerac conk. There's someone out there. I win, I win. Jack and Blue. A lovely bottle of Bergerac conk. <laughs> that, Teresa. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Theresa May. Uh, Good. It's the final question. <laughs> Nobody's ordering that. <laughs> <laughs> what laws he passed now? More like Judge Pinder. <laughs> Pindick. Yeah, that's the uh, yeah. Well, I said it. Yeah, it was different. Pinder is a surname. Point it Pindick out. isn't. Yeah. So, <laughs> if anything, if anything, you're getting this. No. <laughs> You tried to claim my very clever joke, and I went. No! <laughs> For audio listeners, <laughs> Cameron's, Cameron's at least a woodpecker. Imagine if we needed an audio description for this whole thing. <laughs> uh, just four men have a breakdown. <laughs> uh, final question. Oh, I've got it. Um, what would you not give up for one million dollars in cash? I'd give up my sanity for wherever you pay us for this. <laughs> <laughs> we will to live. Uh, you're not getting paid for this. Five. So five I thought, so what would I give up or what wouldn't I give up? What would you not give up? What would I not give up? Tom, would you give up football for a million dollars? I don't think I would. A million dollars, sorry. Yeah, a million dollars, sorry. Million dollars. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not that life changing. I enjoy football. I think of what you get paid for football as well. Yeah. yeah, man. Being the goat and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. <laughs> uh, Cameron, what would you not give up? Well, with bacon. <laughs> the, ba- the bacon goat. Of Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not winking. That's a twitch. <laughs> the bacon goat. <laughs> I've got meat sweats in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> tears. You know how they are. <laughs> If I try I hard three lashes this morning. If I catch one of them in my mouth, it tastes uh, smoky. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a cigarette to make. Yeah. Max, just moments like this. Oh, fuck off. Poor <laughs> cop out. Poor fucking horrible cop out. Nice. Yeah. I, I wouldn't give up comedy. Not me doing it. <laughs> just in general. Buy me yeah. for cheap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like watching it. Oh. Music, oh. I wouldn't give that out for a moon. No. Gaming. Getting get the Samba band back together. Yeah, gaming. gaming. They're great. Yeah. Graham Norton. Yeah, my Xbox died for like three weeks once and I got an entirely new life. I was going to the gym, doing all sorts, and then it could just come back on one day and here we are. <laughs> back to that position. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, yeah. 
Man. Get him back. Give a shit. I'm shit. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> no! Here's Cammy. <laughs> My mum turns up to being q one day. There I am. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> Why did you take your Xbox to B&Q to get it fixed, Cameron? <laughs> Sorry, are you at B&Q that's, in a wheelbarrow? That's for me to And know. she was unaware. <laughs> One dot. <laughs> we'll buy a shovel to dig that fucking hole for Cameron. Imagine someone take me to the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Give cafe. He's, he's, he's back on your leg. He's back again. <laughs> Fucking cook it. <laughs> you cook it's it or else. Oh no! Some fella on the grill with lawn darts in his head. What if we just take his dart stream? Try it, love. <laughs> <laughs> you get within ten meters, you'll feel this. <laughs> 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 oh, moments like this, man. Yeah, man. Moments like You've already this. had that. <laughs> For me? Shut. <laughs> Shut. Uh, <laughs> no, they just. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Stephen Tries podcast. I've been joined by Cameron Green. That's <laughs> good <laughs> uh, Max Smith. Bye. See you <laughs> and Tom Lee. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> he uh, cut me off there, so yeah. just just one of these. It's fine. <laughs> Patience is a crime if you don't have it. <laughs> um, I've been Jimmy Grimble, and you've been watching the Stephen Tries podcast. <laughs> stay safe. Stay humble. Ciao.